Hello everybody. You should have just seen on the start of the video uh, us going through the car wash. Again. With Paul's car. Okay. Um, I'm hoping to speed it up and I will have to take the audio out because he had a, uh, someone in the car and the kids. So, yeah, that was this morning. Got up through the car wash, went and did the food shopping, come home, we had lunch, did the ironing, I put all that away. Um, we've packed Tobin's bag for his trip that goes on tomorrow. If you can hear anything, Paul is hoovering upstairs. Well, Paul and the kids are hoovering upstairs. Um, the chicken is cooked, the roast potatoes are in. I've just started the timer, so yum. Um, and I'm doing some emergency crochet for Tobin for tomorrow. So one second. T T T T. Uh, he wants, he's got to take a flannel or a face cloth, washcloth. And I said, well, do you want to buy one or do you want me to make, you know, do you want to take one that I've made? And he says, well, can you make me a new one? So, I am using the beautiful I Love This Cotton. Which I love. Um, Z sent this to me uh, quite a while ago now. Three years ago, maybe? We are in the old house. So this is I Love This Cotton in Aqua Ombre. And I made Jack a tablet stand out of this. It is, I don't know how many yards. Let's have a look. Uh, it's three ounces, 85 grams, 153 yards, 140 meters, and it is beautiful. So I am making. Let me just have a look. You're sat on my laptop. Ah, fancy sitting on my laptop? No, it's from Cookies. Oh, Cookie Snob Crochet. I'm like Cookies No Progress. Mm, cookie Snob Crochet, and it's called the Corner to Corner Moss Stitch Tutorial. So. I likes it. Hopefully it won't. It's got a bit of stretch in it, but I hopefully it won't be, you know, go too saggy. Um, using a five mil hook as suggested. Also from Z. Um, yeah, so I'm going to do that. I'm not going to make it huge because I'll be surprised if he actually uses it. But I'll do that. Um, Oleg, Oleg, no, Vlad. There we go. Getting confused with the one Steph made. Um, so this is my progress. His body is coming along. I'm at the um, grey at the bottom. So then I have to stuff him, stuff his neck and body after that. So I think, I don't know, the pattern's underneath my laptop and I can't get to it. I've probably got another couple of rows in grey, I think, and then back to black and I think you um, close it up. So there he is. He's going to be big. I need to finish with his face before I. What am I doing? Fasten him up, for, you know, before I decrease. I know words. So I'm going to carry on crocheting uh, the washcloth while the potatoes are cooking. The boys are hopefully going to go out and play with the sand, and then they're having a bath. But the bath might happen happen after dinner depending on how well the um, roasties cook. They've been, I always sort of part boil them and then I pop them in. We use beef dripping, beef dripping. Um, so I heat that in the oven while the potatoes are boiling and then obviously drain them off, let them give off all their steam and then I pop them in into the pan with the, the hot fat. I'm going to be disturbed. Hello. Hello. Um, yeah. Hello, YouTube. This is for you, and isn't it? People. Yes, it is for me because I've got a picture. All right, very excited. I'm going to be down there and coughing really hard now. Okay, well, Bye. careful. <laughs> Bye. Um, where was I before I was so rudely interrupted? Sorry. Yes, I put them in the oven. Uh, I put them in the, like obviously get the oven tray out, put them in the hot fat, put a bit of salt on them and then I give them a little sprinkling of plain flour. And that was, mother-in-law told me, like suggested to do that and they come out lovely and crispy. So, uh, they were nice, uh, when I used to make them before, they always came out nice but they come out 
even nicer, but don't tell them. <laughs> no, um, uh, that was a good tip from mother-in-law. So I'm going to carry on working on this because I'm very conscious. I do apologise that I'm looking at my crochet, not at the camera. So I'll pop back and show you this when it's finished. At some point today, I would like to get a shower. I don't know when that will be. I don't think gym's happening today, unless I go tonight. A bit of a headache, but we'll see how it goes. It might clear up and um, or it might ease up enough that I feel like going to the gym would be a good idea. I don't know. So the swimming party went well yesterday. Um, Jack didn't let go of me at all. So that was fun and Tobin apparently forgot like half of his swimming lessons and was clinging to me and floats and whatever so and they had a big inflatable in the pool like an obstacle course to run and he got about halfway across that and fell off and didn't bother getting back on and didn't want to do it. I'll sort that in if you want to. The g -Tex need charging. Um, yeah but I think they had a good time so that's all um, All that matters really, isn't it? And there was pizza to eat afterwards. Pizza. Um, yeah, what was I going to say? I've done some of this. Oh, yes, all my um, crochet blankets that I've made are out on the washing line. Normally, not long after it gets to the weather where we can peg stuff out, I do, I wash all of the blankets and put them out on the line because it just looks so pretty all out on the line so I think I've done everything bar the peppermint shawl because it's so white um, I didn't want it going in with everything else but the ugly blanket the brown blanket I did for Paul what else? the rainbow hexagon that I finished not long ago Jack's blanket the diamond stitch blanket Tobin's corner to corner which he has said sort of because um, he has the both got the blankets up in the rooms now because the ottoman is too full of blankets. Um, but he was using it when it was getting really hot. He didn't want to sleep under his quilt, so he put the blanket over him. But he's pinched Paul's brown one at the minute. He said, Mom, can I have a blanket that's a bit bigger? Because I've kind of outgrown this one. So, I mean, the corner to corner I made him when he was about four, maybe five. So he is due a new one. So maybe that will be. Um, down the line I'll have to make him a new a new blanket so he can pick all he picked all the colours out for his own um, when I made it when I made the corners corner it's purple turquoise and a green I think yeah it's very pretty um, the colours are very pretty um, so I might get him to pick some colours and then I'll make him one as long as he's not in any massive rush because I I'm, I'm a groomying a lot and He's got a party when he gets back from his trip. That like next weekend, he's got a party in Derby, a roller world. I've not been roller skating for years, but I used to go there when I roller, you know, when I used to go when I was a kid. <gasps> Can't believe it's still going. I wouldn't ever get on a pair of skates now because I would be on my bum faster than. <laughs> He'd be like, "Where's Kim?" Oh, she's straight on the floor, and it would not be a good, you know. Won't be like, oh, she just fell over and got back up. I'd do something horrendous, or I'd rip my trousers, or you know, it would be just disaster. Um, so yes, I'm gonna go. This is chugging along quite nicely. Quite like this stitch. I'm not done must, no, bleh, much moss stitch. I like, always like the look of it. Uh, yeah, I've got to get, figure out the decreases. Yeah, so I'm gonna go do this. I may, may venture outside. I don't know. See if I burst into flames. I did sit out in the garden yesterday, but I had my big floppy sun hat on that one. Um, and I did have my arms out. I had my little floral top on. Um, but yeah, that was enough for me. I looked all sort of red on my chest yesterday when I went swimming. I was like, oh no, don't tell me I'm burnt just from being out there for those, you know, 10 minutes or whatever. But yes. So I will catch up with you later because this has to be finished today because he needs it in his toiletry bag for tomorrow. So and it won't take long. I'll just whiz it up while the potatoes are cooking. Then I've got to go and sort the chicken out and I've got to do some homework with Jack. Paul did Tobin's homework with him yesterday, and Jack's got some homework on fractions. You know, because he's five, he needs to know these things. Um, yeah. So I'll just pop on quickly later on and say, 
do this. Oh, Ruthie's got a new video up, which I've watched. Hi, Ruthie. Um, who walked past this morning? I can't remember if it was Tobin or Jack. I think it was Jack when I was watching you, Ruthie, and I paused it um, because he was talking at me. Children, they talk at you. They want things. How demanding. Um, but I paused it. And I says, what's the matter? And he went, oh, she's really pretty. I thought I would tell you. Um, yes, so that was my rambling thought for the day. I've watched his video. Hi, Z. Uh, I was lucky enough to be... Uh, I popped onto Jan's live chat yesterday. Hi, Jan. Um, early on, though. Oh, you lot are more hardcore than, <laughs> than me. Uh, I think it must have been going on till midnight at least um, but I was on I popped on at 9 till sort of about half past um, Z was on there and just as I'd said bye and was clicking off Ephraim turned up didn't he missed it I had to go down I had to come downstairs I was gutted I was like yo Ephraim and Z and Jan and Zoe and who else was on there oh god there were loads of people on there <laughs> we're talking about spanners and stuff because it didn't take long before trolls were popping up, just typing rubbish. I mean, eh. Grace was on there as well. It was like the perfect storm of uh, crochet gurus. It was super. Um, Linny, were you on there? Candy Garth, were you on there? I can't remember. Karen, yeah, Karen Hales was on there as well. Oh, um, but yes, I had to go after half an hour, and my Chrome, uh, laptop's just gone to sleep. It's gone fine. Don't talk to me. I'll go to sleep then. All my inanimate objects talk to me, usually in a snarky voice. There could be the voices in my head, but I, I apply them to the inanimate objects. It's not me, obviously. Clearly, because I'm perfectly sane. <laughs> I'm sat here talking to myself. Anyway, so I will go now and see what the kids are up to see if they want me to go and loiter in the garden with them because you know i'm helpful like that and yeah i had to buy jack some new school shoes today i had to buy Tobin another pair of trainers and then the big boots that we bought for him to go to his trip on he's not actually taking not like 15 quid wasted but we've had to really strip back what we'd got in the case we packed everything or in his bag we packed everything they said he should pack and I said, please don't overpack, because your child has to carry it themselves. She's like, Tevin couldn't lift it, so we took the big boots out. Took one set of clothing out. And then I went, well, he's going to be wearing a set as well, isn't he? So he doesn't have to have them in his back, so we've managed to take another set out. Um, Tevin was like, well, I'll take a pair of socks out. I'm like, I don't think that's going to make much of a weight difference, dude. But you know, there's kids that are going to have to take their own, if they haven't got a sleeping bag, or they decide they don't want a sleeping bag, got to take their own duvet and pillow and carry it themselves. And it says sometimes up three flights of stairs. I mean, that's just not happening. Um, I don't know. Anyway, so I keep saying I'm going to go. Really going to go. And I will be back later. Bye, guys. I'm back. Uh, I have mega fluffy hair. I've had a shower and just blow dried my hair, but I'm not straightening it. Um, okay, I finished the washcloth, face cloth flannel for Tobin. And then I took him up for a shower. And I said, shall we just try it out and see if it's all right and it'll dry out for tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, blue went everywhere. So it clearly needs washing before it can be used. So... Change of plan, I'm making another one out of, I forgot the ball band. Lily sugar and cream, I think. I think it's another one Z sent me. I'll put what it is below. It's got like a peachy there, this orangey colour and then like a brown. So I'm making up another one, same stitch, uh, the corner to corner linen stitch, which I like. I do like it. It's nowhere near as nice to work with. It will be good because I've made one out of this before. Uh, not a linen stitch one, but uh, I think a, like a... What is it? Back loops only. So it's sort to give it a textured feel. But this one's working up okay. But um, I wanted to get the video done and uploading while I finish working on it. And then I'll get back to working on Vlad. 
um, but I dare say, mind you, the, the other one is still upstairs, the blue one I made. Um, so I might chuck that in the wash tomorrow and then Jack can use it at home because he's like, why is Tim doing everything? So, there we go. So again, I'm working it with my 5 mil hook. Um, and oh, I can't remember, I can't believe I forgot the ball band. Anyway, so it's pretty. I have some other cotton as well, but it's sort of shades of pink, red and white and I don't think you'd want that. So um, He chose this. I was going to do it in my... I've got some... Oh, what is it? It's not James Cooper. Is it Gerald Cotton? But I know I sent a ball out to a friend and then... Pointing, so sorry. <laughs> Point. Um, and I, was, I went out to look in the garage because I'm sure I had some out there, but Paul has put... Uh, a load of remote control cars on top of my box of yarn I can't be bothered to pull it all apart because it might not even be in there so this was in the house Tobin said yes Paul thought why don't you just do it in plain I mean I've got all the cotton I made the Christmas ornaments out of but they're all brightly coloured and I don't want another one leaking everywhere it could have had a blue face I mean like Private Benjamin I referenced that, that joke and um, that I explained it to the kids. I think Paul has watched Private Benjamin. He probably has because he's got quite a thing for Goldie Hawn. And why not? She's fabulous. fabulous. She's a fox. Even at whatever age she is now, she's a fox. And he quite likes Kate Hudson too. But again, fox. So that's <laughs> quite understandable. Um, so I hope you've had a nice Sunday. Alice has been busy but not not too bad. We had chicken and roast potatoes. Roast potatoes were lovely. Um, and York puds and uh, sorry, Yorkshire puddings and gravy. And I had some carrots. And I did a parsnip because I quite like mashed parsnips. I had it once at a, a pub. They brought out some veg, and it was like I think it was carrots, something else, peas. I think I don't like. And then I was like, this this is parsnip. And I said to him, how, how do you do your parsnip? She says, it just boils it. The chef just boils it and then mashes it up with a bit of salt. I was like, hey. So I tend to do that now rather than roast them. Um, but yeah, it wasn't having it. I don't think I'd boiled I don't think I'd cooked it for long enough. But I was kind of rushing because I thought, I've got ages. I went and checked the potatoes. I was like, oh my word, they're cooking quick. So I, I, I put it on quick. I don't think it was quite on for long enough, but everything else was ready. So... Just ended up with carrots, but uh, never mind. So yes, it was a good day. I'm going to finish this off um, and then go and chill. Yeah, no gym. <laughs> um, uh, my head's still... So I'm not going to. I'm going to chill out and crochet. And I'll go to the gym after work tomorrow. So I will leave it here. I keep saying that. <laughs> really good, I promise I'm going. I'll take my big fluffy hair away. I'm in my jammy top as well. And I'm in my jammy bottoms. Can you see them? Christmas ones. <laughs> I don't care if I'm seasonally accurate. I'm so now. I'm so now I am already at Christmas. I'm ahead of the times. <laughs> I will see you all tomorrow. Bye everyone.